Today we're going to be showing how to install a video into a WordPress blog post. Um, most of you guys I'm sure have used WordPress in the case of actually adding video and know how difficult it is when you're using WordPress straight out of the box trying to do this. Uh, we have upgraded to version 2.7 which is a completely different design for the back office or the administration section of WordPress. Our website that we're going to be using as our example today is exchangemyad.com. Uh, we now know because of some great articles that are being posted all over the place how important video is on the web for advertising and just to getting good information out. Um, we actually just wrote an article today about how video is being streamed more during weekdays than weekends. There's a, there's a study that showed that between the hours of 9 to 5 on weekdays more videos are being watched online than any other time. Hmm, I wonder what people are doing when they're at work, huh? Okay, so what we're going to do is if we if we look at Exchange My Ads back office, the administration section, and if I go in here and I want to add a video from YouTube, and I try to copy and paste the code in here into the main box, it's going to have a glitch. It's not going to work very well because of these little buttons right up here. So to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to use this really cool little plugin that we found called Viper's Video T Quick Tags. It comes from their website, which is Viper. 007bond.com guessing he's a uh, James Bond fan in here if you'll notice it says that you can currently use YouTube Google videos daily motion and a whole bunch of other very very wonderful streaming video websites he's created a, a plugin that will actually allow us to embed their code very quickly and easily into our site now to do this a couple things we have to do first thing we have to download their file if we click on this, download from WordPress.org, it'll pop us over to his page, which is in the official plugin directory. This is really important to do this because this allows us to know that this person's plugin has been verified by WordPress.org and that there's not going to be any viruses or weird stuff in the plugin itself. Okay, now I'm using the latest version of Firefox. So when I do this and I hit Save File, it's going to drop me directly into the the downloads folder so while that's downloading I will pull up my downloads folder and here it is downloading it's almost done okay now this is downloaded what I like to do is I'll just take this and I have to to unzip it I'm using WinRAR is is my unzip program but for most people what they'll be doing is they're going to have to use WinZip. Now, one of the big things you have to be careful with when you're unzipping any type of a file like this is that you don't unzip it from one folder into a folder. So it's double nested. If you do that, it's not going to be able to be seen inside of your um, plugins folder. Okay, now the FTP program that I'm using to do this is called FileZill. This is another open source product out there very very cool easy to use what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to log into my server and I'm going to go into my WP content folder because this is where the plugins go I double click the plugins and right here is where I'm actually going to be dumping it if you notice I already have some other ones now over here on the left hand side this is my downloads folder on my left or on my local computer. If you see here, it shows my downloads folder. And if you look in here, I've got two versions of Viper's video quick tags. One is the zip file, one is the unzipped. Anybody guess which one I need to put up there? Right, the unzipped one. So I'll just throw that up there and it'll quickly go across. Now while that is going across, I know that it's going to show up inside of my site. And so what I need to do is go to my back office and I need to go to my plugins folder. Now it used to be in versions up till 2.6 whatever the last revision was it was over here on the right side. Now they've moved everything down this left hand column. They've created this cool little icon also. So if I check this to make sure that it's almost done. Okay it's done. So now that I go back over here and I click on the plugins folder 
and I go down to my inactive plugins down here, I should see this one, Viper's Video Quick Tags. Perfect, it's there. Hit activate. Plugin has been activated. I verify that it's in my list right there. Now the next thing that I always like to do is I like to to make sure that there's no extra things that I have to turn on. So what I always like to do is go to the settings of this actual plugin. Now the place that we go to actually test this to make sure that the settings are correct is under the word settings here on the left. So I click on settings and I scroll down and it's it's alphabetical, no it's not alphabetical but it's right here in the bottom video quick tags. Now this is one of the things I really liked about this whole plugin is it uses the default sizes right here based off of what comes from YouTube but let's say that you um, you want to change it make it a little bit bigger or you're using a, a template on a blog that's skinnier you can actually change it right here in this list and then also let's say that you're never ever going to use any videos from these sites right here you can turn them off and so they don't even show up in your editor let's for example I, um, I probably will never do anything from spike or myspace so right now I'll turn them off I can turn them back on later if I want to hit save changes then if I go over to remember this right here we added a new post notice that uh, there's this, this the normal editing uh, features right here now if I refresh this I should see a whole bunch of other little icons pop up in here bing there they are one two three four five six seven eight there would have been ten if I would have left the other two on but I didn't okay now how do I go and put it in well next thing I need to do is I need to go over to our wonderful website YouTube um, let's see I was watching that one bit earlier let's just go to YouTube and let's look up something fun um, let's say yeah there we go this looks like a fun one Lego Star Wars Vader's personal day so I'll click on this now before what you had to do is you actually had to take this embedded file right here copy and paste that over in with this little plugin instead we take the the URL address so I'm gonna copy that with the control C on my keyboard then I'm gonna come back over here and since it came from YouTube I'll click the YouTube box here paste that in click OK now you notice it puts it in these little these little brackets well let's say that I want to introduce this first of course I gotta give it a title um, let's say what was it Lego Star Wars Vader's personal day alright let's just retitle it that Okay, I really don't want to put anything else in there. That's that's enough. Okay, so now what am I going to do? Well, over here, this has changed a lot too in the version 2.7. Um, they give the option right up here where you can instantly hit save a draft, preview it, or the classic publish button. But they made the publish button a little easier to see. So I'm going to go ahead and publish that. Okay. Now I know that this is out on the site, so let's uh, let's actually go see what it looks like. Nice big writing, way too big. I'll go fix that in a minute. But see how nice our little video is in here. Let's see if it works. All right, that's enough. Yeah, it looks like it works just fine. Okay, so what I did is I went back into the post editor, changed my title size, added a little bit of text at the bottom. 
I'm updating the post and we'll preview it again. So here, and there we have it all lined up nice and clean. So I re just resized the title, submitted a bold tag instead of an H1, and gave it a little sample down the bottom, and everything looks clean. Thanks.